principal Siyabar Ramachandra Bhagwan Ki Jai. So the final uh, chopai before the Doha Tulsida sings. <laughs> fill in that void as quickly as possible because no country could operate without leadership so it is important that the president or the prime minister be replaced as quickly as possible the moment he is out of office Bali was the king of that place kingdom. and now that he is no more his brother Subriv is enthroned by Kushiram he asked Lakshman to do it. Now, why did Sri Ram not go himself and enthrone him? There was a reason for that. When Sri Ram was banished, one of the conditions was that he cannot go to any township. He has to remain in the woods. So he could not go to Kiskinda. And this tells us something, something very great about Prabhu Sri Ram. He honored the word of his father to the letter. He did that with great pride. Imagine, your father tells you, you know, I'll make you king of this kingdom tomorrow. And a few hours before tomorrow, he comes and tells you, son, I can't make you king anymore. I have to send you before this. What would you do as a son? What would happen in today's world? Uh, a lot of AK-45 and all that will take place. That's all. Uh, murders and what have you. This type of thing will happen. Because that's the quality of children we have today. What Sri Ram did? Lord Rama, uh, Raja Jaswat tells his trusted servant. He said, you know something? What pain my heart. He said, when I told Sri Ram that he has to go into it first, he was as normal. He didn't show me any kind of annoyance. He made no objection. But with profound love, he simply agreed. And that is the nature of Prabhu Shri Ram. 
when we are able to transcend the peers of opposites, when we are able to go beyond that, then all lives will be calm and peaceful. Because in heat and cold, good and bad, whatever, whatever, the peers of opposites, dualities of life, once we are able to transcend that, nothing will harm us. And Valmiki tells Shri Ram, my Lord, those who are able to transcend the spheres of opposite, who can maintain this equilibrium of mind in good and in bad times, he says, my Lord, such person's hearts are all cleansed to receive you. Go there, my Lord, and make that heart your home. So, when does the Lord reside in our heart? When it becomes a temple <coughs> free from all the hate and greed and lust, etc. When all the negative negativities are removed from the heart, it becomes a sanctuary for the divine world to live. So he says, and when he gave that instruction, Raghupati Chadana Nai Karimata, everybody bowed to the feet of Prabhu Sri Ram and Chale Sakala Play Ritta Every one of them went and accompanied uh, Lakshman to enthrone Sugriva's king. And I bring my lesson on end this evening to see that things in Dover. <laughs> two brothers living. When one pass on, what happened? They make, before they pass on, they know it's very sick and so on. They make an agreement, a verbal agreement, nothing written by word of mouth because they trusted each other. They say, well, you know, after I pass away, this goes to my son. But my son is unable at this point in time to fully uh, address the situation because he's inexperienced, he's young. So you will take over and when he becomes of age, you will hand over the property. Does that happen now? <laughs> eh? When the time comes, you forget the son. The son, you're not about here at all. And who has to settle that? You have to the court. And then the magistrate have to tell you, well, you know, you are not the owner. Give it up. You know? And big embarrassment. Because we cannot honor our words. We must be able to honor our words. The executor, is, the executor is not the owner. You have been entrusted with the full range until such time that the person becomes of age. 
So my dear friends, in tonight's lesson, through Tara, we have learned that this is a situation, that Tara and this Tara, right? <laughs> you have learned that you cannot change the circumstances when this happens. It will happen. It will continue to happen. It will always happen. Nothing will be different. But it's how we address the situation. And Sri Ram gave that knowledge to Tara, and not only Tara, to this Tara and to all the Taras, <laughs> and in fact, to the world at large, he has given that knowledge. So it is for us to take that, imbibe it, and live with these principles. Sri Ram is called Mariada Purushottam, the perfect man. He has lived an honorable life in spite of all the difficulties that he has faced, and he has come out gloriously as the perfect man. It was my deep and honored pleasure to be in your midst here this evening and to have done this. I do this with a special love for Kenny. And Kenny is most, most, is most worthy of this because he lived a very honorable and noble and dignified life. Ever since I have come to live here, I have known him. And our group came here in 1989, right before I started living here. And I met Kenny at that point in time, by Sam. I just met him. We, we talked and laughed and all this other thing. But when I came here to live, I get to know him. We were, he used to go out with me when we would do Ramayana. He would transport me and everything. So he has lived a noble and wonderful life. And I must say that I was deeply honored to be a, a friend of his. So I want to thank you very much. I want to wish you home all the best. And I, I'll come back here on, on Sunday. That's okay? That's right. Right. So, so that will be my next day here. And after that, well, um, I won't be able to make it. So. so I'll come back here on Sunday. So I want to thank you very much for accommodating me and the group. I want to thank all the members of the group for being here and all of you for being here. So Prince of Rosia, Bhada Rama, Chandra, Bhagavan, and Kijan. So we have one, two, Bhajan, and we have one, two, Bhajan. Sit, come and say, Bhajan. We say one, two, Bhajan, and then we close off. Oh yeah, after after these three bhajans, I do the bandana for um, Kenny, the special prayer. Yeah.